Hey guys, welcome back to CampbellThreads.com. My name is Bree. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to get a perfect red lip. I freaking love red lipstick and I always forget about how much I love it until like I actually put it on and I'm like, damn, I really need to start wearing this more often. Um, they're super bold um, and so red lipstick can kind of be a little bit intimidating, but um, it really is so easy if you just follow like all of the stuff that I'm going to be telling you guys to do here in just a second. So, um, but yeah, just a couple tips like how to make it last longer, how to, you know, all of that good stuff. We'll get into that later. So, um, I did want to let you guys know that in like two weeks I'm going to be doing a Q&A video. So what that means is I'm going to have you guys send in questions about makeup or hair or like honestly even anything. Um, and I will film the answers and then I will get that posted. So... Yeah, if you just send an email to lulu at campbellthreads.com or even just DM us on like Facebook and Instagram, I will collect all of those questions and then get them all answered. I'm super excited. I've always wanted to do a video like that. So um, just, yeah, send me in whatever you want to know and then I will get those answered. So, oh yeah, too, uh, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Um, that way it sends you a notification as soon as a video is posted and so you can just kind of stay in the loop and, you know, keep up with us. So with that being said, I will stop rambling because that is probably the only thing I'm good at, I've noticed. Um, I'm doing it right now. Okay, I'm going to shut up. This is how you get a cool red lip. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna start out by moisturizing and exfoliating my lips, and I'm gonna be using the uh, Seriously Shine Free Moisturizer by Formula 1006. Um, and I wanna use this stuff because it's oil-free, and uh, I don't want it too much oil to um, get on my skin because then that can cause the lipstick to bleed if they start to mix together. So I'm just gonna put a good amount, Ugh, tastes funny on my lips and then I'm going to exfoliate with a toothbrush. You don't want to push too hard because I've done that before and uh, it can like really scrape up your lips and it doesn't feel good. So what this is doing is this is just kind of getting that moisturizer in there and then this is getting off any dead or dry skin because you want a really, really, really smooth service when you're doing red lipstick. So, just give your lips a good little scrubby scrub, and then I'm just going to wipe that off with a damp washcloth. And um, exfoliating your lips too, doing it with a toothbrush, as you can see, my lips are like super rosy right now. So that's going to get the blood circulating, and it'll plump them up a little bit too, without having to suck into a cup like your Kylie Jenner. You all remember that? The Kylie Jenner lip challenge where you'd go and you'd come out looking like, ugh, I did it and ugh, mm -mm. Okay, so now that I exfoliated, I'm gonna put a super, super thin layer of powder over my lips just cause I'm gonna soak up any excess oils that are left over. to do first is you're going to want to line your lips and when you're working with darker um, lip colors you want to get a lip liner that's going to be the exact same color as your lipstick or a shade just a little bit darker if you do anything lighter than your lipstick then one it's not going to match and two it's going to end up making your lips look smaller which is the last thing that you want to do so um i'm going to be using the l'oreal color rich lip liner this is in the shade true burgundy um and it's just you know a twist up liner pencil so when since I'm using a liquid lip you don't technically need lip liner I like to use it just because I can get a more precise line and make it look a lot cleaner um, I know that some people and even I've done it in the past whenever I just don't have time to use lip liner is they use the pointed tip of this uh, brush is that what it's called? Brush? Applicator. And they use that as their lip liner and then they'll flip it around and use the flat side to fill everything else in. It works great. I don't have a problem doing it, but me personally, I like using an actual lip liner pencil just because I can get a more 
accurate and precise line. So, here we go. Steady hands on this thing. Okay, so you're just gonna start out. And I kinda like to bite my lips together just a little bit just cause it makes my lip tight and I can really follow the actual shape of my lip. We should bring back the 90s, like, I remember, sorry mom, about to call you out, but I remember she would just put on like lip liner, obviously not this dark, but then just put like lip gloss over it. Did anybody else do that? Like, straight up 90s. <sighs> oh, to go back. Okay, so uh, you can be done here if you want. So I've learned in the past that for me, um, when I completely fill in the rest of my lip with lip liner, my lipstick lasts so much freaking longer. Um, so that's what I'm going to do. So I'm just going to lightly color in the rest of my lip. So like I said, like you don't have to do this. I just personally really like this trick just because, I mean, lip liner is, you know, when you're lining your lips, it's to keep your, uh, your lipstick in place anyways and keep it from bleeding. So, I mean, what's the difference if you do it on your entire lip? So it's the same concept. So that's just, I mean, my preference, you don't have to do it. So when I get to the, see how like my lip just kind of stops like right there. It looks like a little round nub. So... I'm gonna open my mouth and just kind of flick and finish that off. So now after doing all of that, I am gonna blot. So just, you know, kiss the napkin. Um, so what that's going to do is that's going to get rid of any other oil that's on there. Um, I can't stress that enough whenever you're wearing dark lipstick and any lipstick at all. I mean, obviously you want it to last all day long. So any oils that's left over on your lip that can mix with the lipstick and cause it to run and you'll look like Bozo the Clown and nobody wants to do that. So, um, Lots of steps to do this, but I mean, it's worth it just because whenever I do it specifically this way, it lasts me like all day, all night. I don't have to worry about a damn thing. So now that we did liner, um, I'm going to go in with my liquid lip. This is, this is adoring in the Meet Matt Hughes collection. So it's by the balm. So literally, I'm just gonna go in and like the pretty much the hard work is already done. Now I just need to go in and really like fill it all in. So that's all we're gonna do. So I'm just gonna let that dry just a little bit. And then what I'm gonna do just cause, um, I, re I really like my lips to look really full. I mean, spoiler alert, I do get lip fillers. Not gonna lie, I'm addicted. I freaking love them. My girl Melissa, she hooks it up. She's the bomb. Like, if you live in San Angelo, you really need to go see her if you want anything done like that. Um, but I am crazy and I want them to look even more full. So I'm gonna take 
uh, another Meet Matt Hughes liquid lip, and this is in the shade Devoted. And this is more of like a true red. What I'm wearing right now is kind of like a little wine, like Dr. Peppery color red, more on the burgundy side, whereas this is like an actual true, you can find it on the rainbow red. So I'm going to take that, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to pucker and I'm gonna put it all in the center of my lip and that's gonna brighten up that area and make it a little bit more full. So you don't wanna do too, too much on this part. So then just with my pinky finger, I'm gonna blot that in. This is probably the oldest trick in the book, but get off all of that excess so it doesn't get on your teeth. So we're pretty much done. I mean, it's super easy, but I can see that there are a couple of imperfections. I'm gonna take a flat concealer brush. This is the M421. And I'm just gonna take the tiniest bit of foundation on the back of my hand, like literally microscopic. See, you can barely even see it. And I'm just gonna work that brush into it and I'm gonna go back and clean up these lines just to make it extra sharp. Okay, so just to prevent any other like smudging, smearing, bleeding, anything like that, I'm gonna take the Morphe E21 and I'm gonna use this more of uh, the pointed end and I'm gonna go into some translucent powder and I'm gonna just line the very outsides of my lips just to soak up any excess oil so I don't have any bleeding or anything like that. And that's it super easy and I swear like I'm not even kidding this stuff is gonna last me for the rest of the day granted I don't have anywhere to go or anything else to do but my lips will be on point all day long so yeah those are just some easy things that you can do to get you know those pretty red lips and um, all of that good stuff I know that you know not everybody is gonna want to sit down and take the time to actually like do this but I'm telling you, if you do, like, you will realize, like, a huge difference. Because I don't do this all the time either. I mean, I don't always, you know, spend, like, five, ten minutes just on my lips. But when I do, like, it's so worth it. And um, so give it a try and let me know if this works for you. But I hope you guys enjoyed this. And I will see you guys next week.